Well, hello, Capricorn. Hello. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and do a love reading for you, okay? Um, I'm going to try my best to have a um, another financial reading for you on Friday. So I'm going to try to do that Monday and Fridays for your financial love reading. But let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going to come out here for you, Capricorn. This is a love reading for Capricorn. Let's get it. Okay. Oh, that was too many. One at a time, please, for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. Thank you. All right. Capricorn, you have the Ten of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups, really good. And then you also have the Ace of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely amazing energy to see for a love reading. Amazing energy. The Wheel of Fortune in general talks about expect some type of positive, sudden change in your, in your romantic life, right? So for some of you, you've been waiting on love to come in for a while. You've been really wanting, I love the fact that this came out. You've been really wanting true love, real love here. And even with the little prairie dogs, we, we definitely see that there's going to be a connection that you're going to go into. That's going to be very strong, um, I see here. I like this card because it's saying what you're going to experience in a love connection. It says, it is time for you to express your love and appreciation uh, for someone. This could also mean here with the Ten of Cups that you're going to be going into something that's going to be long-term, okay? Because you're choosing someone to have a family with. You also see the prairie dogs right, be right below the couple, okay? And tens always represents long-term energy. So before you actually go into a connection with someone, you know, before you even have a family, you're going to be going into a connection with someone that you want to have deep love for. OK, and it's going to be your wish. Got the nine of cups sitting right next to it. Long term, ace of pentacles. I mean, that is really the turn of events. So the sudden part of it has something to do with the fact that someone's suddenly coming into your life. I don't think that it's going to be sudden due to the fact that someone is going to propose. Yes. But first they have to come. OK, now we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. Absolutely amazing reading. Right. And we don't talk about anything dealing with money. This is uh, an amazing reading to see. So I want to clarify these cards. I want to start with the Ten of Cups. This is for Capricorn. Let's see what's going to come out here for Capricorn. Ten of Cups. You got the king of, whoa, you got the king of swords and you got the emperor and the sun at the bottom of the deck. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it. The sun card in general is purity. It is happiness. It is joy, right? It is the ultimate happiness. And this is hitting your ten of cups. So for a lot of you, if you're feeling like this is not going to occur, that is wrong. Um, now I'm not going to say that all of you are in this energy because again, this is a general reading. Now I pick up on everyone, whether it's good or bad. So some of you may have already been in a long term and right now you and your person may not be as close. Now, is there some type of hope? Yeah. With the sun here talks about, there's a possibility that something could occur where you can heal something with someone. If you've been in a long term. But there is this energy of you and your partner possibly detaching. I mean, we're talking about you guys have kids together. You, you know, they have kids, you have kids together or they, you guys have kids separately and you guys came together as a family. Either way, there is this energy here where there is some distancing. So the sun is making me believe that there's a possibility that something could be healed, could be, right? Because I do feel like there is this, um, maybe melancholy, mel what is it, sadness, uh, this indifference, if you want to actually stay with them or not, okay? But if you're single, if you are single, this reading is amazing because the emperor, is talk the emperor talks about the potential of a spouse. 
whether it's a husband or a wife, right? Someone who's very smart here with the King of Swords. So the person that's coming towards you looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay. This is going to give you some clarity in life as well. So you have the clarity with the King of Swords and you also have the clarity here with the Sun card. No longer in this fog about your love life. If you're ever going to get married, your answers are being, your prayers are being answered here. Okay. So let's get the nine of cups. So let's see what this wish fulfillment is. I mean, we already saw it, truthfully. I mean, we really, we really did. We already see what it is. But let's see what comes out here. And this is someone who's going to come pretty soon if they are not already here. No more waiting. Someone is going to act, okay? I feel like you guys have been very restless. You're like, okay, I've been hearing this for a very long time that someone is supposed to be coming in here. When are they coming? Now, you guys see me pulling the cards, and I always split the deck to see what's what's in the middle of it, and this is what's showing me. It makes sense. The sun is here, so what's making you happy? There is definitely someone who I feel like is going to come in your life, a wish fulfillment, someone you've been hoping for who's going to come in your life and change it in some, some degree. And, and, and they're going to change it because you're no longer going to be stuck in this energy of singleness and sadness, Right? You know, feeling um, like no one in the world cares. You're re-entering into the world of dating. And not, now you're going to get to a point where there's going to, you're going to find sanctuary in someone's arms. That is exactly what I'm saying. So that's the, that's the wish fulfillment here. Let's get it. I'm not sure if you guys can see these cards falling, but they are falling. Okay. So you got the full card. Oh my gosh, a new. <laughs> wow. You guys got the full card and the two of cups hitting the nine of cups. And then you have the moon card, very deep feelings for somebody. Got the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. I want to talk about it. You guys already know when I get to this, these type of readings, I don't want to take, I don't want to rush. I see a lot with this because, again, nines are still emotions. Even if it's talking about your wish, it's still an emotional experience. Some things that have not been great. OK, long term, fine. And even if it has nothing to do with long term, it hasn't been great because for some of you, you've been this has been a test of faith for you. You know, you've been optimistic before, but then you've been let down. You've been dealing with people or have dealt with people who, who came in. They were all forward. They, you know, oh, we can be together and I want to be with you. And you guys discuss plans on marrying and all of that. And then they let you down. And that's when the moon card happened. So I, you see, there's layers to the reading. So it's not, I do see the, the beautiful part about what's going to happen, but I also see what you've experienced here. It's been very overwhelming for you. And I don't know, for some of you, you you can become very defensive over love. Okay. And, you know, sometimes let's be honest with the, the, the king of swords, you can become a little cold hearted, not cold hearted, but cold towards the idea. And that's the reason why the sun is there is warming you up is it's, it's now letting you know that it's okay for you to actually open your heart to someone. And there is going to be someone here. There is going to be the two of cups talks about what I, I never read these, but it talks about respect for each other. It could be a interracial connection, different cultures, even doesn't necessarily have to be interracial, but it could be different cultures. Right. It talks about a unified love. For some of you, if you are again, like I said, if you're already in a connection, your wish is for your 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 love, the person you've been with and knowing for a very long time, you want it to be unified. That's what you're hoping for. But the full card offers the opportunity for even you to have a new beginning with someone that you've been with for a very long time. Okay. So I do see some good things coming out of this. The will card is still here, which taught, this is a one, which talks about new beginnings as well. But it also talks about a turning point regardless. And I do see it being in such a really good way because it's moving forward and making progress in your love life. Now, let's go ahead. Let's get the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles for Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles. I'm 
Oh, this tried to turn over the tower. This is sudden. I think I said that earlier. For the for the single ones, this is good. I mean, again, you you can't something can't be destroyed that ain't there, right? <laughs> so it's not talking about that. It's saying a radical shift. That's really what this is. That unexpected energy turning point here with the wheel card, the wheel of fortune, and that's exactly what I'm saying. But for a lot of you, you know, who's been in long term, I always look at the the tower card as like the moment of truth, right? So it's kind of like, okay, are we, are, are, are you with me or are you not with me? Are we going to be with, are we going to be together? We're we not going to be together. That's basically what the reading is saying. Like it is really that moment of truth. And some of you are about to, you're about to experience that. Okay. And it's, and it's best for you to experience it. Yeah, there it is with the four of cups. Some of you guys don't even, you don't even feel love. Maybe you're giving your love to someone and they're rejecting you. They're pushing you away. Or maybe you're pushing someone away because you just don't feel it anymore. I can't say the reason why, but either way, it's here. You know, some people do fall out of love. And it's it's hard for them to even with their own feelings to try to, to actually like figure that out within themselves. Why don't I love my partner anymore? And they're not the they're not bad. Okay. <laughs> Um, but I mean, either way, it could be you or them. So I don't want to always put it on them, but it could be you as well, where you just, you're, you're tired of it. You're unfulfilled. This is not something that you're wanting, but I do see it. Okay. So, so that tower is saying a moment of truth. You want to find out where this is going to go very soon. If you're in that situation, let's go ahead. Let's, um, get some more. Ah, look at this. You got the nine of cups hitting that ace of pentacles and then a the five of pentacles. So I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so for you who are single, you had the nine of cups twice and it's hitting the new opportunity that's going to be coming in here for you. The very fact that it is hitting the ace of pentacles again, we talked about that before with the marriage energy and it's ending the exact same way. I want you guys to be very aware that this is a partnership reading for the singles. This is where you guys are headed. Remember, the sun talks about the reason why you're happy, what is giving you this source of joy. And this is where the joy is coming from. I'm not saying that you need it from other people, but I'm saying the universe is going to give it to you. So I can individually ask, you know, you guys, you know, what do you want? What is it that you're hoping for? For some of you, it's money, right? You have a partnership coming. We only do your money on Friday again, but we'll do that again. But it could be more than one thing. I want money and romance. It has to come together because some of you already know if the money ain't right, your relationship ain't going to be right. Individually for you, you know what it is that you're wanting and it's happening. I see it in both areas, actually. I see it with your money and your finances, to be completely honest with you. I, I see I see a new beginning and a turning point where there has been a lot of hardship and suffering, pain and suffering. That you guys like the 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 wheel is being turned in your favor, and that is going to be no more. So I love this energy here. Okay, so I do feel a, again a radical shift, a breakthrough. Okay, that's going to be happening for majority of you in in such a good way. But if we're talking about long term, it's just some things that you guys are going to have to figure out. I mean, again, the tower is the moment of truth. It could be a separation, but it doesn't necessarily have to be an ending. There's things that are inevitable with that tower. So again, you're going to have to make a decision if this is worth saving, especially if you've been in a long term. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull one last card for you. And this is going to be your advice here, Capricorn. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you. This is going to be your advice. This is for Capricorn. Ah, look at that. Split the deck. <laughs> what does it say? It literally says this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first. This is the first kind of love, right? This is the type of love you haven't experienced in a very long time. Some of you guys may not have ever been in this type of love before. You may not have never experienced this type of love that's coming in here for you. Okay. So love is definitely in the air. I'll tell you that. Let's go ahead. This is for Capricorn. There we go. And then it comes out anyway. If you guys were at this place where you had any doubt, you had any doubt, there is no reason to be doubtful. Ah, the King of Wands is my new person card. Look at that. I 
I see a new person. I, I hate to say this. I hate to say this. And this is not what everybody y'all got to get a personal reading for that one. OK, don't come to me. talking about what yeah said. Uh -uh. I'm saying that there's a strong possibility that even if you've been in a long term committed relationship, you may choose someone else. I just feel like, again, there's this energy of like time is up. <laughs> OK, like. Um, this is this is old to me. This is getting old. Like it, it's not giving the juice that it once was for whatever reason. That is what I'm seeing. OK, I mean, it is what it is. So I am seeing that there is going to be here. I love the fact that what it says, it says now is your moment to step up. And that's just what I'm seeing. I feel like there's going to be. You know, again, even with someone new coming into your life, someone is going to step to you, step to you, right? Let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see what type of person this is. Let's see what type of person this new person is. Why do I feel like this person has money? And I also feel like it's a very strong earth energy here. And it's not, it's not a, it could be a Taurus. It could be a Virgo. I'm not saying it can't be a Capricorn, but I also see a, a heavy Virgo. I don't know why I keep seeing Virgo and Leo. We're going Leo. We're going Leo. Oh, well, Aries is here. But throughout, anytime I'm pulling this deck and this deck, I kept seeing Virgo a lot. So some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo. It doesn't have to be, but that's the, that's what I kept seeing. This person who you guys are going to meet is very well to do or very stable. It doesn't have to be rich, but someone who's very stable. Let's go ahead. Let's clarify this King of Wands. To be a Pisces as well. Let's describe this person, please, one at a time. Uh -uh, I got, I gotta. Sorry, <laughs> I can't be doing all of this cards flying everywhere. No, I gotta describe them. One cards flying everywhere. King of Wands here for Capricorn. All right, let's get it. I don't know. They could be Capricorn again. I keep seeing an Earth sign. I keep seeing an Earth sign. Okay. This person is a very good communicator, very, very good communicator. And they take their time here with the, the, the Knight of Pentacles. Love it. Love it. You want someone who's reasonable and rational. You don't. It, the, the Knight always talks about rationale, right? It's the complete opposite of the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands where someone comes in and rushing because they're just so impulsive. It's the complete opposite. This means this person has control over their members in their mind okay <laughs> and also this is also universe saying go slowly into it because you are going to find this person very attractive it is going to be someone that you really like and you know you have to slowly go into something why because you've already experienced betrayal here with the seven of swords you've already experienced that and you want to be able to see through things. Part of the seven of swords is that you don't want to be deceived. It's giving you the reason why you should slow down or take your time because you don't want to jump into something where you don't know the person. Yeah, they may want to marry you, but two years down the line, all of a sudden they become a different person. You need to be able to see everything. You may not see everything, but you'll see something within the, you, listen, I'm sorry. We all have dated. We all see red flags within like the first month or so two months and really it really doesn't take time to show itself so you'll know and it's not saying that this person is deceptive it's saying because of the betrayal that you've experienced in the past you need to move slowly because you don't want to repeat the same patterns here with the world card who wants to do that i do feel like this person is very successful There's something about this person that is very successful and also um the world card is again, and you guys already know, I got this from my friend. It's a 360 degrees. It means every area in your life will be satisfied to some degree, which is the reason why you're happy. Usually if you're sad about something, you're not happy. Now I'm not saying that you're not going to have challenges, but I'm saying that this person in some kind of way is going to complete you. <laughs> That's what the world card talks about. You guys see, what is it called? Maguire? What is that? What is it? Tony Maguire? What is that movie called? called? But, um, Tom Cruise, when when she said you complete me, that's that's what I'm seeing with that world card. To be honest, 
That's what I'm saying. You guys are also learning to let go of past hurts. I'm telling you, because part of part of where what I'm seeing is kind of feeling like you're going to be still in the process of healing from someone that you you have let go and you're moving on from. I'm not saying that they're still there, but some of you guys are still healing from that. So I do feel like this is the reason why you also needed to take your time. And it could be a second before the person comes in. It could be literally six months. OK, but you're going to have victory over your relationships. I love it. Oh, my God. You guys had the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a sword of truth. This person is the truth and the truth is in them. If you see any deception, seven of swords, if you see any, they will be cut away. Some of you guys are going to be dating more than one person. New love doesn't have to be the first person that's going to come in, but you will find them. OK, in the beginning of the reading, it was a promise that was made with that nine of cups, which was what fulfillment that you guys are going to experience even with that sun card, which are all majors, okay? So that's what I'm saying. This is what I have for you here, Capricorn. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all of that is below. I will be able to see you guys back here on Friday with love and your money. All right, talk to you later. Bye, guys.